Hey, this is Jay Nicholas for the, <coughs> for the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog, and I'm here at the shop, just like I was 10 years ago, probably tying this same fly. I've aged. Um, we're going to do uh, an olive glass bead damselfly. It looks a lot like a, uh, a glass bead olive woolly bugger, but trust me, this is a damselfly. Okay, here we go. So with my bead on the hook, so, uh, now you might be wondering why use a glass bead in, instead of a, uh, a brass bead or a tungsten bead. And that's uh, ent entirely up to you. Uh, my answer is that um, these flies are often fished in very shallow water. Two feet of water, three feet of water. 18 inches of water and when you do that uh, the glass bead just goes down that much slower so I've got some uh, olive woolly bugger marabou and I'm going to shorten it a little bit just by pulling those tips off the thread I'm using is uh, a green and it's actually it's a Lagerton 150 um, of course, you can use many other threads, um, but I, I do like to use a green here. And that's about right for my tail. So I'm going to put on a wire rib here, and I have a piece of fine copper wire right handy. And what this wire is going to do is going to secure my grizzly saddle hackle. So now I've got some... This is a mixture of SLF, uh, synthetic li living fiber. This is any of the various olive colors. And I have mixed in a little bit of uh, ice dub to give it a little bit of sparkle. You could uh, you could dub this with a little uh, noodle. I'm going to do a little spun dubbing loop and I'll show you why. I like to get I like to get these uh, bodies nice and fuzzy because uh, that's just kind of now, some people will say, oh, man, you've got too much sparkle in it. And I would say that's a, that's a personal preference. Uh, some people do like to tie their damsels uh, kind of drab. Sometimes they'll just use, uh, they'll just wind uh, uh, marabou to make the body. By the way, that, uh, that little dubbing brush I was using, I've really, I've been using those things all the time lately. Very, very handy. So I'm going to Whoa! Come back here. I don't even know where the end is, so I'm going to trim it right there. Now I'm actually going to use a, um, a chartreuse. Nice chartreuse. Wow, that thing is long. Grizzly hackle. So you could actually, I'm sure you could fish this fly just as it is, but I like to put on a hackle. Um, and I don't think I have fish rejecting my fly because it does have a hackle. Um, as selective as these trout can be, they're often very opportunistic. So that, that hackle just went from the front to the back, and then my wire went from the back to the front, and every time that hook turns around, the wire is, or almost every time, the wire is crossing over 
okay. the hackle stem. Now I'm going. Sometimes I used to just break these things off. On rare occasion, that first first turn will come unwound, so I just trim them now. And uh, so you could actually tie this fly with a fluorescent red thread to make a hot spot there. But I'm going the opposite direction from that. Right, I'm going to be rather subtle, and I'm going to put just a little bit of dubbing in there to make sure my um, keep my thread from showing. And this, oh, this is not necessary, but it's kind of fun. Put a little bit of Loctite on the thread. Jay, most people, I would think, use damsels and lakes. Yes. I haven't really used them much on a river or a smaller stream, but tell us about that. Can they be extremely productive or what? Absolutely. <laughs> of course, of course they can. This is a so this is basically the confirmation of an olive bugger with a glass bead. It if I'm gonna call this a damsel nymph, I'm gonna fish it in a lake in still water because that's where damsel flies principally live. If I'm gonna fish it in a in a in flowing water or spring creek, I'm gonna call it a, a giant scud or I'm gonna call it a, an olive leech or I'm just gonna call it fish food. So this is one of those very very and by the way that so I'm a, when I turn this fly, sometimes when you turn a fly towards you you see a little stray feather that you want to trim out? There we go. So, glass bead, uh, various olive uh, dubbing, olive tail, Palmer hackle, copper wire, you're done. Great fly. Fish it all over, fish it all over the world. Panfish, bluegill, carp, you name it. Thank you.